some of the art of de Chirico reminds me of the art of contemporary uh, French artist Anne van der Linden. De Chirico has always been one of my favorites since the 70s. There was always kind of a surrealistic quality to his work that I liked a lot, and some of his work has architectural aspects. And if you consider perspective, these fruits here in this still life must have been about 10 feet high. A lot of his work has kind of a vibrant and sort of bulging quality to me, which is the best way I can explain it. He lived from 1888 to 1978, and he's one of my favorites. We're near Trocadero in Paris. There's a self-portrait. And this exhibition is free. This looks like Notre Dame. Yeah, it's Notre Dame. When people have come to visit me in, in Paris, if I can't escort them into the city, for their first visit, you know, they, they often say to me, well, where should I start? And some of them I've directed to Trocadero, and it's worked out just fine because, you know, you've kind of got everything here. You know, you've got the Eiffel Tower and Champ de Mar and lots of museums and Invalides and lots of avenues and stuff, and it's really easy to get to on the metro and you can just kind of wander around and it's a fine way to begin in Paris. There are some pretty good restaurants around here and also some places to pick up male prostitutes. But that's another story. Yeah, I like the I like the De Chirico paintings uh, the most, which show buildings. I've always found them really appealing for some reason. Here, here, here's another one. See, mostly I've I've only seen his stuff in reproduction, so it's really cool to be able to visit this show, also for free. I know that a lot of his artwork looks really naive, but he was a really good artist. You know, he could really draw and paint. Lots of horse images. By the way, clips are allowed here. Just don't use flash, okay? All right. See you later. Bye.